my chickens. And a very cute dog. I that met. That is named Baylor. Yep, that is named Baylor. Oh, they're really nice. They are very nice. So you like the midwife? Yes, I approve. You approve? This is my second time being at the midwife. Yeah, at the midwife? Yeah. Yeah. And you like it there, huh, bud? Yeah. So everything looks good. Measuring on schedule, you know. Other than that, is there anything else? No? Very uneventful. They Did took some blood. <laughs> Went through some forms. Very spicy vlogmas yeah. material, let me tell you. Really? They, took some of my blood. they did take some of my blood, huh? To get some testing done. That's okay. Tyus was a little concerned. I can see it on his face. Oh yeah. Um, well I'll talk to you about that in just a sec. Now we're just gonna go ahead and head back home. Anything else? They gave us food and candy canes. Gave you crackers and candy canes. I approve. Hey, who wants to uh, go to Panera? Yes! <laughs> Load up, let's go. Now. Yeah. Cause we have more shopping to do. <laughs> Stop it. Why do we have more shopping to do? Uh, Cause we didn't do it early enough. And we just found out we're now going to a white elephant party. <laughs> so we gotta go get. But normally white elephants like okay. to really perfect them. You need time. You need time and you need to like really sit and just like marinate. So this is gonna be last minute while and it's not gonna be It's not gonna be good. Like quality. Well, I don't There's no such thing as quality white elephant with your family. <laughs> Silas, can you stop please? There's that one little singing elf doll that got passed for year after year after year. Uh -huh. To where I think we were leaving and we got stuck with it. Uh -huh. We were leaving Bakersfield and we turned it on and threw it out the window onto David and Christie's lawn. Uh -huh. And then I don't think it got passed after that. Yeah. Because it was so obnoxious. That's really special. Thank that you for quality. sharing that with all of us. Good times. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to feed dogs candy canes? No, he's trying to use candy can as the command to get her to come to him. <laughs> That's, that's Clyde. There she is. <laughs> Silas, oh, you put your shoes on? Okay. I can't believe, so last night when I pulled out all the gifts and everything, we are lacking on some stocking stuffers. For the girls. Do you know what my candy can is? No clue, buddy. Didn't you eat it all? No. No? Oh, that shoe's not tied. Do you need help with that? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, manners! So we have to go back out again. All right, you wanna put your foot up here? So, um, I'm thinking, hello, best filming angle of all time. Hello. You can't even really see Bonnie, can you? Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Um, candy can. <gasps> there's the candy can. Oh, there's a candy can in your shoe. You got it? Yeah. Um, the girls throw a flake to the horses? What? Wanna have the girls throw a flake to the horses? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Um, so we gotta go. You're good. Out. Again. <laughs> but it's not even noon yet. I think this is the first time that we started filming before noon. All of Vlogmas. So I'm really proud of us. It's and we're 11, just. It's 11.24 a.m. You're right. It is 11. Well, that's a, not 11.24. I mean 11, 20, mm -mm. I mean 11.35, You're right. So we're gonna head out, we're gonna treat ourselves to some Panera before we have to brave the craziness. But I think there's only one or two places that we have to go. But now that we have to do White Elephant, it's like... Can you please open this? Okay, give me just a minute. Um, it just adds a new layer. We like time. To, to develop our white elephants, and that's not gonna happen, which is okay. It's fine. We're just not gonna, we're not gonna win this year. It's fine. One thing the midwife said that could potentially help with, which wasn't a surprise, that she said could potentially help with the contractions that I have. Um, when she said more fluids, which I know she's not wrong about, but also for me, if I have too many fluids, then I just start contracting all over again. Um... And then magnesium, I told her the type of magnesium that I was taking, she suggested, 
She suggested a different one. So I'm taking magnesium bicarbonate. She suggested magnesium glycinate. But I don't know if your body absorbs that as well. So that's, I'd love to do research. Always ask questions, y'all. Keep asking questions. She also gave me vitamin D and K2 to help with vitamin D absorption. But I'm like, I'm curious about synthetic vitamin D. And since I'm already getting vitamin D levels from beef liver, do I need to be taking synthetic vitamin D? Of course, the numbers are completely different. I don't know. So I have some research to do. I'll probably end up doing that in the car to make sure I'm taking uh, what my body needs. And of course, we trust the medical professional, but we are happily continuing to ask questions. And she said, I did ask her about that specifically. She said most people probably aren't even aware of vitamin D levels and what they're consuming. Um, <laughs> did what she say? Most people don't, I don't know if she said our health con, I, I don't want to insult other people. Most people suck. <laughs> That's not what she said. No, that's not what she said. Any hoodles, I need to be more diligent about getting magnesium into me um, and being more up to date on my vitamins and my Floridix to make sure that my hemoglobin levels, hemoglobin levels, and iron stay high enough. Okay, this was a great clip. Thank you for joining me. Let's leave the house now. <laughs> Look, at the, I love French onion soup. And then I got the steak sandwich. And you were supposed to have <laughs> a grilled cheese and broccoli cheddar, right? But that's okay. You have a really happy heart and brother split his sandwich with you. He, cover your mouth. Oh good, you did, just kidding, sorry. He got the steak sandwich and the broccoli cheddar. And you both got mac and cheese and the grilled cheese. Yeah, buddy. I'm so excited. And not this lemonade is so stinking good. You got the same as Isabella. You guys are all matching. Whoops. But it's still gonna taste good though, huh? So I split this. That's really nice of you, buddy. Thank you for doing that. Now we're gonna go eat, huh? Bombs away. Well, I've already started. Well, <laughs> well we're aware. Are they going in? Are they going in? Oh, they almost went to sports clips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are letting the girls go into GameStop every time we come into the center. Olivia asked to go into GameStop. Our sweet little gamer girls. Um, and we feel comfortable doing that because they have their watches on. So we, we opted for Gab Wireless. That's who we are, right? Yep. Yeah, so shout out to them, sponsor us. <laughs> shout out to Gab Wireless because it tracks their location. They're able to call us on speakerphone from their watches and they're able to send voice messages and a couple of pre programmed texts. But that they can't, strangers can't call in and out of the number. Right. I have to, I add the numbers that they're allowed to call and text yep. on my app on my phone. And they can't go on the internet, they can't, like, it's awesome. Yeah. Very well done very limited offerings for what they can do with it, which is great. So it gives them the the feeling of autonomy, which is, you know, as they're teenagers, they're really wanting to be independent and try different things. But us as parents, of course, we want to like hold on to that. You are in the middle. <laughs> You're on the right side of the road, ma'am. Um, we want to be watching them and we're mindful of them. So this was a really good middle ground for us and for them and they really enjoy having them. So they wear them every time we leave the house or most of the time when they remember. Yeah. So they'll be doing that while we will be going stocking stuff or shopping for them, which hopefully will not take too long. I ate a bunch of food. Sorry, and I am le tired. So that's all I have. Also, I can't, my makeup's really weird today. I never added mascara or anything. This is just leftovers from yesterday. So every time I look at myself in the camera, I'm like, what? what's so unbalanced about my face? <laughs> what's wrong with my face? Why am I so ugly? Just kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I love that he just gives up. I'm so sorry, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where you tell me that I'm pretty. You're so pretty. Thank you. And brave. And brave. <laughs>
<laughs> Silas, you ready to get stocking stuffers for sisters? Is that a yes? Yeehaw. Okay. Should we put that little toy in their stocking? No. So we are now at the thrift store because what are we shopping for? What did Daddy just say? We are going elephant gift exchange looking. <laughs> what? So, we're looking for elephant. We're looking for elephant oh. gift exchange gifts. White elephant gifts. I, I love that she just curled into a ball. She didn't even explain. She just went, I'm done. <laughs> I'm okay, so we've given ourselves a $10 limit because even with five of us, that's still $50. So we can find something that works. If not, Silas. So we're going to go in and you guys can tell us what is the best white elephant gift once we're done shopping. I promise we don't thrift this often. It's just a special treat for Vlogmas. We are gonna have to show y'all the weird things we got from Goodwill for, the, for this white elephant gift exchange, but I've got to go edit. The video's supposed to be live in about an hour and a half. Yesterday's was super late. I like when they're on time. It makes me feel better, even though I'm the one that sets the time. So I'm gonna pass this off to the kiddos. Hey, you need to do anything interesting? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave the camera right here if you guys decide to do something interesting, okay? <laughs> you want do you wanna do a cleaning time lapse? Because you totally can. It's much more satisfying to do a time lapse when you're doing something like that, huh? Yeah. Alright, well, you guys be hey, be good. I'll be as naughty as I can, Yeah, okay. Okay, mom wanted me to get some filming done. And I haven't done any, so I thought I'd just do a blitz clean of the table or for like a time lapse just to get some footage in there. Here's what I gotta work with. Hold on, it's not focusing. Here's what I gotta work with. It should be quick and I also have some sweeping to do. We have this thing of like areas. Oh, that's bright. Uh, we have this area thing where Isabel has a certain zone in that room where she has to keep that nice and tidy and I have to keep this room nice and tidy. So far I've been doing good this week. So. I'm just gonna try doing a quick little pickup of this and hopefully get some time lapses in. Olivia got like, what? Hello. All the time lapses, <laughs> which is awesome. What time is it? It's 5.20. I ended wrapping last night really late, which is awesome because I didn't get everything done. So I'm, I'm feeling really tired. So I think I'm gonna go put pajamas on. Elias already said that he wants to make um, risotto and steak for dinner tonight, which is one of my favorite meals in the world. I love making risotto. I love st I love the process of making risotto. There's something that I just so romantic about it, but it does take a long time. So I need to kind of consider maybe getting that going soon, although I'm still feeling pretty full from lunch. That's what's funny about sometimes pregnancy um, is I'll have days where I'm ravenous and then days where I'm like, eh, I'm fine. What is that? So, I think I'm gonna try to have the girls take showers. I'm gonna get everyone in pajamas. Would love to have some craft time or some hang time or something. Like, I'm just like craving cozy with the family. And then we still need to show you what we got for White Elephant Gift Exchange. I picked out two things, just in case another family member didn't find one, and I personally think I did great. <laughs> just wait till one of them is like weird. Super weird. Okay, I don't know why I walked to the bathroom. I don't even need to go in there. <laughs> I was just trying to get away from the washer, but it was like right 
right next to it. Okay, I'm gonna go put pajamas on now, bye. Look at my sweet friends. Hold on, is it still stuck? <laughs> my sweet friends over at 50 Flowers. We just had a meeting with our CEO about some fun up, okay. <laughs> some upcoming things for, wow. Wow. Oh, for the baby. Oh. Cause these ones pink, these are blue. blue. Oh. That was very thoughtful. We can pick which flowers we want to... <laughs> Elias had all these ideas for the gender reveal and he wanted to shoot his crossbow. Crossbow? Compound bow. Which one is it? Compound. Compound bow. He wanted to shoot his compound bow really bad. <laughs> to like, he's like, I could shoot a balloon and it like powder could come out and stuff. It was a really complicated process walking him through like, okay, this, that's a lot. Um, but you could, <laughs> you could shoot the flowers that it's not, <laughs> you know? That is, these are going to get, this is going to get glitter everywhere. That's like, well, that's all glitter on the end. So I wanted to shoot the balloon and pop it and it would reveal it. Mm -hmm. And then Jamie got a onesie and in my head, I was like, well, we're still on the concept of me shooting something with my compound bow. <laughs> and she buys a onesie. She's like, oh, for the gender reveal. I'm like, you want me to shoot the onesie <laughs> with my compound bow? And I'm like, I that, can seems, shoot it. that seems a little morbid. Yeah, I, was like, I can shoot it with my compound bow. And then I was like, well, I guess we could get a pink and a blue. Yeah. And then I can shoot the one that it's not. <laughs> But that still seems a little morbid. <laughs> so I don't know why we which would is, just stick which with the Which is wild, because like, I explained what I was thinking, and you just weren't tracking with it at all. Yeah, well what you were thinking wasn't what I was planning. <laughs> but put, I explained it out loud with, with words. But you put me in charge, because it was stressful. <laughs> but then you took the charge anyway. <laughs> because he kept trying to, I didn't, it's not like I removed it from you. Let's be fair. So wait, I can still go get a balloon and shoot it? Sure, if you can get this figured out in time, go for it. And then they will go um, uh, So today's, we're doing it in two days. Oh, so tomorrow's the only day that you can do it. Okay, deal. Look at that, look at those snuggles. Oh, it's such a good hug. Oh. Any oodles, we're not shooting a onesie <laughs> for our reveal, in case anyone was concerned. Uh, but these are, uh, these are guaranteed to get to get, I was gonna say sprinkles. They're guaranteed to get uh, glitter everywhere. I was hoping the girls would be done by now, so we could like at least play cards or something. Oh well, maybe in a few. If I had more time, I could build a trebuchet, and we could, I could shoot a, a target that cuts the rope to launch the trebuchet, and we can launch the correct color flowers but it can be hidden from sight so that all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, you shoot something, boom, colored flowers launch. I think it's time to remove you from access to the camera for a little bit. Put you in like a vlogmas timeout. <laughs> you got, think, a, you got a crazy look in your eyes. <laughs> crazy, crazy looks. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you both look a little crazy. And then like twitch a little bit like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You. you guys are gonna be in Vlogmas time out. Say bye for bye for now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting my risotto recipe up and going. Now I've made this so many times, but it's the gourmet mushroom risotto recipe from All Recipes. Um, it says ready in 50 minutes. That's probably pretty accurate. Um, if you didn't have frozen chicken stock like I do. <laughs> so I gotta defrost this first. One of the key parts of making a uh, good risotto is to make sure that your stock or your broth, whichever liquid that you're using, is warm. Because if you are using cold stock or cold broth, when you put it in with your rice, it will actually stop the cooking process because it's so cold. So you want to heat it up to generally, I think, around the same temperature as the uh, rice is that you're cooking. So I 
Step one, you need to get this defrosted. These lights are the worst. Uh, defrosted in another pot to get ideally that going and then we can start the risotto. It is a really long process. I mean, it does take close to, I don't know, probably 45 minutes for all of the, nah, yeah, probably 45 minutes for all of the liquid to be absorbed if you're doing it slowly and correctly. But the cool part is the arborio rice will release starches as you're cooking it slowly and that's where it will get, that's where risotto gets its creaminess. It's so good. It's so good. This is one of my favorite meals in the world. And it makes us feel so fancy. Do we not feel fancy? So fancy. You're off, you're, okay, I was about to say you're off your ban and then you did that. <laughs> Off you're you you're off your vlogmas ban and then you did that. I'm uh, rebanned. So what? You're banned. Get in camera. This is my channel. You should get your own channel and do whatever you want. No, because then I'll get permanent banned. <laughs> Demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs>continue to defrost I need to unfortunately I gotta come over and uh, beat my daughter at cards she probably will be <laughs> uh, if you guys have never played nerds this is like the most intense game it's not that intense is it really I feel like speed when you're playing it's definitely intense oh I feel like speed's more intense but it's basically solitaire with other people that's a good way of describing that, right? That's a great yeah, multiplayer way. Multiplayer solitaire. Multiplayer solitaire, but the point of the game is to go as quickly as possible and get through your nerds pile, which is the same thing as all the cards that would be underneath these five across in traditional solitaire. And instead of playing an ace individually on your own out here, you can play on any ace and build up from there much like you can with solitaire. And you turn over three in your hand in the same way. But uh, I've been playing this since I was your age. Yep. Yeah, so I'm not saying I'm hard to beat, but uh, it gets messy. <laughs> that, was good. that was good. Mm -hmm. so because my husband absolutely loathes mushrooms cuz he's crazy wait okay i swear i pulled this out earlier i think elias put it away he does not like mushrooms um i am not adding the mushrooms to that recipe i'm just doing oh he did use this and then put it away i'm just using um onions and garlic to flavor this and then i will add in black pepper later and where what was that? Okay. That's the feelings. That's the feelings when you spill something really gross. No. <laughs> what? What'd you spill? A Thanksgiving turkey that I threw in the trash and then forgot to take out yesterday, so it's just already bad. Just like marinated? And it just marinated in the trash can for a bit. All right, I'm done. You asked, bro. <laughs> I know. And then I set a clear boundary for when I was finished. Um, hey, Isabella, yeah. did you finish off the garlic the other night? Yes, I did. Oh, you did. Ah, that's why I can't find it. I actually opted to do olive oil and tallow because I just think tallow adds like an amazing flavor um, to dishes like this. I need to season this pot really bad. Oops. So now I've got my onions going. I'm gonna grab, I actually had to get chopped garlic this time instead of minced. It's gonna be fine, nobody panic. Ah, garlic juice. Um, ah, oh, garlic juice. What will everything I do? Okay, my turn. No. Shh. <laughs> Finish off tossing this in for flavoring. And then next up is toasting the rice in the um, 
olive oil and tallow, and then um, pouring white wine over it and stirring slowly until it's absorbed. So it has to be a dry white wine though. So definitely not a Chardonnay, probably Pinot Grigio or Sauve Blanc are gonna be your best bet for something like this. Y'all could smell this through this camera right now. I added salt and pepper. Oops. Um, and I probably did a little too much tallow because I'm basically just like frying things right now. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Okay, the rice will actually absorb this. So if you've ever made rice aroni, the concept is pretty similar for what I'm about to do next. I'm just going to pour in the arborio, stir it around a coat, and keep it cooking on a medium heat until it gets a little bit of a golden brown color. Because as one of my favorites says, Gordon Ramsay, no color, no flavor. <laughs> Which is probably something that a lot of chefs say. But he says a lot of MasterChef Junior, it's really cute to hear the kids respond. So, the hardest part about cooking, oh, that's the kettle, by the way. The hardest part about cooking sometimes is just letting things sit. It won't develop any color at all if I keep stirring it. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute and a half, maybe two, and then come around and stir it again. Just depends on how hot my pot is and how high my heat is. Obviously, we don't want it burning, but we want it to be nice and golden. I was thinking the most important part, my apron. <laughs> I put it on, nobody's got it. We are now getting some of that really beautiful golden color on here, which I'm really excited about. This will go for another couple of minutes, just to get a little bit more color to it. But instead of just throwing y'all into a time lapse of me just cooking, you gotta see Silas's mini golf course that he set up. Oh, we still haven't shown them our Thrift store finds from earlier. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what did you end up scoring at Google? I was a little putting thing. Um, I'll take it. Okay, I'm awesome. not, I'm ungrounded. Um, <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little putting thing. Um, well you've probably seen them. You put the ball, if it goes in a hole, it drops out. It goes in this little launcher thing that shoots it back at you. I wanted one for a while, because they're really cool. I used to have one. I got a garage sale when I was a kid. And, but they're expensive, they're like 50 bucks. So I found this one at Goodwill for 10 bucks. And Silas all of a sudden comes in the house and goes, Dad, come look at this. And I go out there and he's got it plugged in, set up, balls ready to putt, everything. So he's super excited, so he made a little putting green. Like, like miniature golf style. So we're gonna, I told him we'd putt. And he's got his own putter. All right, show me what you got. This is a mini putt course. All right, mini putt course. So we've got, mini golf all right, so we've got the putting, we've got some pieces of wood up along the sides. And you have to try we've to stop the obstacle. We've got cat food containers set up as obstacles and two and packs of batteries. That's brilliant, bud. We can try to like. Ooh, ooh, that's tricky. All right, all right, you wanna hit first? Can right. I get a putter? Oh yeah, so you can join. Alright, so let's go ahead and go first. Show us how it's done. Oh, that's Dad's putter. She can borrow my putter. No, okay. We can take turns. Alright, yeah. go ahead, buddy boy. I'm trying to mess it up. Think, thinking it out? That's good. Plan out your shot. Smart move. How did it just go on? I think you're built to be a golfer, bud. Oh. 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 Is mole. this mini golf? Is that right? a mole again? Yes. Mini golf. Okay. Nice. Good job. Oh, mole again. Reset. All right. For what Uncle Chase calls it, breakfast ball. Oh, so close. Close. Are you going to hit it again? Oh, you get one shot? Yeah, each time. Oh, um, oh. Oh, no. Around. Okay, like, like real golf. No, no, you leave it there. Oh, yeah. Which one? Oh. Then you hit your own ball. Oh, I'll use this one. There you go. I don't know much about golf. You're alright. <laughs> wait, wait. You can have the purple one. Oh, okay. Let me oh. get the purple one. All right, look out, bud. Oh! All right, my turn. Yeah. Yep. 
All right. Oh, thank you, Livy. All right. I get the side one. Because the first one, the first one was uh, Isabella. I actually got her. Uh, oh, was that supposed to be there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm All right, for. your turn, bud. Oh, those are ball markers. You've got the <laughs> the ornaments as ball markers. Yeah. You want to take really? a good look? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Pretty. You got Han. You need to make it lower so the camera can see. You got marshmallows, a candy cane, and whipped cream with hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I'm a crazy person. A knot! It's beautiful! Okay, I'm just gonna put this down. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, let's see what you got, buddy. I was over here. You did what? Nothing. Good job, buddy. You're doing a really good job on this mini golf course, buddy. Nice, good job. Oh, oh, no. right, so you, you're putting that there. Now Libby's turn, right? Yes. All right. Can I get all the way over there? Yep. yep that that the blue ball. No, that that's okay. where. Uh, it's over there. <laughs> so here's that ball. So you're right next to where Silas is. You missed. Whoa! Off the course. <laughs> nice job. Good try. All right, but oh, it's my turn now. Okay. Oh, you're out. <laughs> yeah, this is so Evil. Here, you can be camera lady now. Wait, no, no. It's my turn to hit, right? You want me to go, bud? Yeah. I gave you a fun cup. Baby. Oh, hey, bud, let's not put it on the floor. We're golfing. That has got some beautiful colors. You can see the rice is taken on the color of the stock. Um, because it's actually a super, I mean, like a really hardy stock this time. Look how dark that is. It's really dark. And Elias just got a steak on. You can see it almost looks like it has like, let's see if I can get you away from the seam. It has more like a sauce to it now. See down in here where there's like a little bit of liquid left? That is the rice. <laughs> a child releasing <laughs> starches. So I've been doing a ladle at a time like this. Again, the broth is um, warm to not stop the cooking process. And then stirring it in. So unlike earlier when I was letting it kind of sit for a minute to get the actual rice grains a little bit more golden, this I'm a little bit more actively stirring it in. So I'll walk away if I need to, but a lot of people swear by the fact that you cannot leave your risotto on the stove top. I don't think I've left the kitchen since I got this started. Maybe to grab an ingredient or two, but not much. Oh my goodness, this is smelling incredible. So what I'm looking for here is as I'm stirring it in, the rice is absorbing the liquid. So I'm looking to see how much liquid is left over as I'm stirring before I add in another ladle full. And what's the cut that we're cooking? Ribeye. Ribeye. Normally we do filet. Yes. But we had ribeye that we needed to use. What are you shopping for now? Nothing. What did you see? <laughs> Just, on, I'm on the lookout for one golf club. I'm on eBay. And I've, I've been shopping for it for a long time. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for a good deal. Uh huh. Okay. Well. So. Okay. Don't worry. I'm deeply concerned. <laughs> Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come, ye. Come, ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of vain. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. 
excited it's all brown it's all it's all brown sir sir I'm gonna need you to shush I'm showing my food right now thank you it's all brown with a little bit of green but this is gonna taste delicious oh huh. okay are, oh, are you are you okay are you spilling are you having hot chocolate with your risotto that gives me feelings all right that's dinner time so it's feeding time for the doggos. We got this puzzle. You guys got it for uh, Pepper, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's, at this point, it's for all the dogs. It's for all the dogs. So the Pepper and Clyde are getting their food in their regular bowls, but I couldn't find the third one. So tonight, Bonnie is getting hers in the puzzle. So what she has to do is she has to eat the food off here first. I don't think this is exactly how it was intended. The extra food on. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. The extra food on top. Just eat the food off there first, and then that can move, so the fish tail can expose the food down there, and then that can move, so it knocks the food into the hole. I don't think she's gonna. Do you think she's gonna stay committed to this? She's probably gonna try, and then she's gonna probably lose a kibble here and there. Yeah, so I don't know if she'll finish it all of it. Sometimes. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Stay. Day. That's a good girl. Your neck is looking skinnier. Nope, you gotta sit. That wasn't a lot, that wasn't a release. Okay, Bonnie, take. Take. She's like, is, are you sure? It's very satisfying, isn't it? You can't even. Oh, oh. <gasps> you had a girl. <laughs> good job. Oh, she just nudged the head away. Okay, I'm sorry if you don't like mouth noises. I can't stand mouth noises, but I'm just impressed with my dog. Good girl. Oh, are you get There you go. <laughs> Good job, Vaughn. Look at the tail. Are you happy? Is that a fun dinner? Oh. <laughs> no way! Bonnie, why are you solving this so fast? I think what's really fun about doing like food enrichment like this, she's going so fast. She's solved it. I've been filming this clip for two and a half minutes and she is like cranking through this. Um, is it helps to really keep their mind busy. So I think when their mind is engaged, it's three times more exhausting than when their body's engaged. That's also a fact right I got off the internet. So take it with a grain of salt. But like, I hope this exhausts you. <laughs> I hope you're exhausted. She's like, mom, this is too easy. Maybe we should get her a higher level. I don't, I don't, yeah, we might need to. Okay, it is supremely past your bedtime, but tell me, what did you end up getting for the white elephant gift? I got this. I'm not exactly sure what it is, because know. it's not for exercising, because I'm getting it's... no exercise. <laughs> it's well, it's gotta really cool. be. I could just rock it. It's, it's not like a core, like an ab core workout. No. But. Are you supposed to do squats on it? I don't understand. <laughs> it could you, be. It actually, that's, she might be right. It could be for squats. And then you just gotta bounce. Push ups. Ooh. Looks that? like squats. Yeah. See? Oh, let's see if Dad can squat it or squat <laughs> on it. Squat and fall. Why is it wet? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I swear I didn't do anything to it. I wonder if one of the dogs walked by after drinking water. Because I just used it with my fuzzy socks. <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. The commotion. <laughs> there. Bonnie, move your big old tushy. <laughs> You're loving. Nope. That's not it. But whatever it is, it works better on the rug. You don't work on your form, kid. <laughs> Why don't you show her then? All right. Wait, yeah, wait. So you want to keep your chest up? Uh huh. Pretend like there's like a string right here pulling your chest up. Chin forward. And then the first thing that goes out is your booty starts going out. And you can you can put your hands out to give you stability if you want. But so your knees should be right about over your toes. <laughs> Just squat already. <laughs> there you go, you go down. 
and then push up with your heels. Looks like you're trying to sit on a toilet or something. Yeah. There you go. Excellent form. <laughs> Very much wow. <laughs> wow. Nary a wobble inside. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I think my favorite is this this clip right now because your head's out of frame. <laughs> and then you just squat down and your head appears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go on to the next ones. Isabella, what did you get? Okay, so what I got... Daddy should stay there and keep squatting the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> so what I have are two items, actually. Oh, I missed it. Did you just ollie off of that? I kickflipped it. Oh, okay. Was that close? I said a skateboarding word. Yeah. Okay. I landed it. No question. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I got was an emoji pillow, uh -huh. which isn't really funny, and then this, which I know the dogs are going to hate extremely. What I also got was a little uh, Among Us poppet emoji, or not emoji. Not are you okay? Not my pillow, just a poppet. <laughs> pop. Good job. Give me some. Ow. Um, where's daddy's? Oh, here you go, dear. You ready to share with the world this yeah. absolutely repulsive thing that you picked up? It's awful and yeah, it's terrible and weird. Right. So it's called, it. What's in Ned's Head? It's so gross. It's... And... <laughs> it's like a tent. It's a head and basically it's a game. So you have these cards and I think you draw the card and you have and to find like, it? Oh, fried egg. So now you have to reach into his head and feel around and go, that feels like a fried egg. No, it's barf. That's so gross. So you put it back in, the next person's turn. And then they feel around and go, oh, Ugh. that feels like a fried egg. No, nope, it's a spider. First one to get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so what? Yeah. It's just then, that feels like a fried egg. <gasps> it is. Wow. I get a point. So I ended up grabbing two things because I wasn't quite sure where we'd end up. So first things first. That's not it. We got an we got an orange mug for brother because he likes orange. <laughs> Hold that thought. All right. First up, it's a pipe mug. <laughs> My thought was, if Elias does like it, or let's say we decide to only use one of the items, we could save this and Elias could drink out of it so he could be like that old guy from the show he's now obsessed with, The Craftsman. And it was only $2.99, so I've literally never seen anything like this. I just think it's wildly disappointing that you can't drink from right here. I feel like that was a missed opportunity, aesthetically. Um, and design-wise. And then, piece de la resistance would be the armadillo pie dish. Complete with a recipe for how to use armadillo meat. Wait, really? Yep. <laughs> oh, we're that. So, it, it calls for two pounds of armadillo meat. <laughs> two pounds? Two pounds! In a singular pie? <laughs> <laughs> Cut armadillo meat in small pieces and saute in shortening until slightly brown. Place in covered pan and add seasonings and herbs. Cover with water and cook until tender, adding more water if necessary. Make a gravy from stock. I can't even. Well, now we gotta catch that armadillo that's been in our garage. That's not an armadillo. It's, it's been a possum. Oh. Yeah. Same thing. I don't know, like, if you have to pick a winner. Uh, tell me why it's me. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't have anything hanging out. <laughs> Keys? You want a drink? Here you go. <laughs> oh, want, it's the perfect size! It's a piece, nostril! I want a piece of pie! Was that his nostril? I thought it was his mouth. That's his nostril. Oh, well maybe he's smelling the pipe. No, that's his mouth. I can't edit That's his, his nose. That's look, his you can look at the back of the... Thing. I think that's his nose. Nose. Yep. his nose. All right, well, he just snorted a, a pipe. Okay, time to go to bed, everyone. I just, what a wonderful note to leave this clip on. Genuinely. Two pounds armadillo meat. Yuck.
Love me some armor This is like a Texas old man starter kit. <laughs> kind of is. They, you know what they could have done with this? They could have turned that into a straw. I, that's why I said it was a missed opportunity design wise. Well, you were right here when I said it. I know. Okay, go to bed. I can tell you right now, right now, this vlog needs to be done. I just like, especially towards the end of the month, I get this pacing for it where I know how much we filmed and this vlog is done. <laughs> We just need to cut it off right here. You guys, thank you so much for joining us for yet another day of Vlogmas. It is always such a treat to hang out with y'all. I can't believe we only have two days left. Time is, time is weird. <laughs> I'm out of focus! Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Night, guys.